turazo mu gitabo cyaba Filipi igice cya mbere ku murongo wa 22 We are reading in the book of Philippians the first chapter verse 20 Anyuma abaromo mu 19 Then Romans 8:19 Aba Filipi igice cya mbere kuri 22 Kuko tegerezanya ibyiringiro yuko ntazakorwa ni isoni zikintu cyose ahubwo nzanjya nzajya ngira ubushizi bwa manga bwose Ahubwo nzajya ngira ubushizi bwa manga bwose buzatuma Kristo akomeza gukuzwa n'umubiri wangi iteka ryose nkuko bimeze ubu nubwo nabaho cyangwa nubwo napfa According to the New King James version the Bible says according to my earnest expectation and hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but with all boldness, as always. So now also Christ be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. Abaroma umunani. Then Romans 8. Kumurongo wa chumini chenda. Romans 8, 19. Kukondetse nibzare mwebjos. Bitekele za nyamatsiko guhishur kwa kwa wana bima. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. In these days, we are studying the word. The word themed expecting something great. Expecting something special. Aba Kristo bategereje Kristo Christians are waiting for Christ bategereje amasezerano y'Imana ko yuzura They are waiting for the fulfillment of God's promises Ariko kandi But again bategereje kubona Imana they are waiting to see God being the solution of their everyday problems. For us to go together, I'll give a few examples of waiting. Umumama, numu papa. A mother and a father. When a mother is pregnant, they are waiting to see the child. They are curious, they are expecting, they want to see how the baby looks like. They want to see how this baby looks like. So they are waiting. Now the engaged. The engaged are waiting for their wedding day. And they are wondering how will that day look like. They have different desires. They are thinking I wish this will happen like this. I hope this will go like this. So they have an expectation. They are curious to see that day. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Praise the Lord. When you're going to be awarded, Spain. Remember the last match between Netherlands and Spain. Abantu benshi bafite ama televiziyo nabandi bafite ama radio twayaraye aho twicaye dufite amatsiko yo kumenya igihugu kizatwara igikombe cy'isi cyose. 
Quisíos. We were all curious, we were all expecting, we were well, all waiting for the nation that will take the cup. Uretse ko ngewe eh byarangiriye ku munsi wa Ghana. Though me I I ended my expectation on the day Ghana fell out. Umunsi Ghana itsindwa. The day Ghana fell out. Naise numva uburyohe bwo mupira bushize. I felt that I had lost the joy of soccer. Kandi nababajwe na wa musore wateye igitego ahagaze kuri centimetre jatu. And I was hurt by the boy who who passed the ball just recent meters away. Sinamenye niba ari umwuka wera ariko siwe ni satani guko yatsinzwe. I don't know if it was I don't know what led him if it's the Holy Spirit or Satan but I think it's Satan because he lost I Remember it seems like they were praying whenever they would pass a goal they would pray So I don't know what happened on that day I don't know what happened that day Ghana Ghana lost Numva and I felt all the joy for soccer was done. I had even bought a ticket to go to go there the last day. I had faith that Ghana would make it. I told the people who had bought the ticket for me in South Africa that I wasn't going. So I lost all the anticipation. Except that it showed me something great that we are in the time of Africa. Normally the World Cup doesn't just happen in third world countries. It doesn't happen. Kubona igikombe cy'isi yose kiba muri Africa to see the World Cup happening in Africa, God is telling us, Africa, arise. Africa, haguruka. Africa, arise. Urumva ayomatsiko. So the anticipation that we had that Africa would see something great. Another reason why I loved Ghana niyo yageze nibura mu ijonjora rya kimwe cyakane. It reached the fourth the quarter finals Ghana niyo nico gihugu cyambere muri Africa cyabonye ubwigenge kandi nico cyambere cyari kigeze mu majonjo mu majonjo ya kimwe cyakane hari Ghana is the first country that got its independence in Africa and it was the only country that got to the quarter finals Rero mu mutima wanje wose nari niyemeje kuzajya Africa ye So in my whole heart I was determined to go to Ghana Ugira guhagarara mu mateka kwa Mankuruma yasize muri Ghana So that I go and stand in the history that Kwame Nkrumah left in Ghana Ghana ifuyemo When Ghana fell out I understood one thing that Africa is still bound I tell you we are still bound because wa musore the other young man in his life he said that except only once normally he never, he never misses a goal uriya musore watsinzwe numukinyo mu rwego rwo hejuru he is such a high profile player that discipline. he is so disciplined for him to lose that goal it showed me that Africa had risen but needs to walk we need something more we need to change our mindsets like the game of Ivory Coast Drogba had no one to work with. There were all playing differently, so they are still selfish. But you saw how Spain, all the players passed the ball to each other till they passed the goal. Ariko mupira wa Cote d'Ivoire kandi warimo aba professionnels barenze icenda, bose bakomeye mu bihugu by'Iburayi. But the game of Ivory Coast where they had more than nine professional players in Europe umuntu yafata gumupira gashaka kuwirukanga na wenyine ngo awugeze iriya kandi hari aba defenseurs hari abandi bo muri miliye hagati bamurwaye umupira wakawusubiza kandi iriya kwi 
kukibuga kuipoto yaba ifuari baramba bachichar a player would get the ball and want to take the ball to the goal alone by himself then they would have to lose and come back from scratch I understood that Africans are still selfish you want your own things to be for yourself so I followed almost all the matches where I was because history is happening in Africa there are books that will be written Africa is redefining itself so we need to see this prophetically we need to understand this prophetically not to see this and judge it because we are There is no day that they've given the World Cup to an African nation. So I believe it's coming and it's Rwanda that is getting the World Cup. So I saw Ghana losing and I said, God, give us that chance. So that our Mavubi will take the and cup. And you said Rwanda will be high. Now the problem I have we still need stadiums in Rwanda. So I've started praying for the stadium in Bugesera so that there will be a big stadium so that God will give us a big stadium in the south that God will give, you a, give us a stadium in Ruhengeri Big, big stadiums. Where you enter and it feels like it's a hotel, yet it's a stadium. When I see our stadium here in Remera, may God keep helping us, but it's like a communal stadium in Denmark. I am not saying it's not good. I know where we're coming from and we're going slowly by slowly. But we need to have stadiums like the ones we saw in South Africa. Now listen to the com comments of the whites. They said we have misled ourselves. We didn't think Africa has stadiums better than ours. In England, when the cup was going on, hotel in Narimo, the hotel I was in, yari hotel ya it was a hotel of the, of the team of Chelsea. Muri hotel, so in that hotel, na, standing in the window, I could see the stadium of Chelsea because they are the same, near the same Icho place. And the stadium amazed me. It's in the highest levels. But the white said, They said the, the stadiums in South Africa are better than the ones in Europe. So in Rwanda, we need to pray for you to have the anointing to build stadiums. So that. So that, <laughs> so, that we, that, so that we take the World Cup, we receive the World Cup here in Rwanda at least in 2050. <laughs> yes, some of you will be dead, but you'll be sleeping with promises. <laughs> it's far. When do you want us to make this happen? Muri 2020. Olympic. Ni Brazil. Ibihumbi 2020 numunani 
mashaka mu Rwanda muzaba mwamaze kubaka ibyo byose reka tubere ya list nibura 30 23 ndabizi ibyo dusabye imana irabikora amen twemezanye reka reka turebe tutaje gufata umubaru tariyo ni ni 10 ine ine chumi nine chumi numunani makumyabiri nakabiri na makumyabiri na eh. <laughs> <laughs> sima nabu mekuri yisi bwari mitumuntu wasobanukiwe imana there is no life in this world that can limit those who know who god is inuma pora ravuga so apostle paul says aravivuga neza he says this ngo nzagera hantu that i'll get to a place tazakorwa nisonuko where i'll never be ashamed icyo mvuze kikaba what i say will happen ejo batazavuga ngo and they'll never say boy mvuze ndibyaba you say it and it never happened aho ndahantu nzahagera i'll go to that level cyangwa saho hantu yarahageze oh he got to that level awatazakorwa nisonuko where he'll never be ashamed igitekerezo cyo cyose kizuzu where every thought will be fulfilled where every work will be fulfilled there are people who are afraid of so that when they fail they will be ashamed but when you enter this world into this glory in the glory of God you enter the level of impossibility you define infinite equation hallelujah hallelujah you get to a high dimension gusobanukirwa ibitazwe and you understand what is unknown tabwo ukije gusa muri domaine ya definition ugenda hirya ya domaine de definition you go beyond the domain of definition you need definition muri muri tama espace we definition muri infinite ya dimension yima You don't define yourself in time and space. You define yourself in the infinity of God. Ibitekezo byawe biye influence abantu nubwo tabuhari muri yo espace ariko biyagenda muri eternity. Imana igakora bitangaza mu rwego rwo kutongera gukorwa n'isoni. Your thoughts will influence people in another space in another time and you'll never be ashamed. Ah, rekangaruke mu rurimi twese twumva. Okay, let me go back to the language we all understand. Ngo ntegereza nyibyiringiro. And I wait with hope. Yuko ndazakorwa n'isoni zikintu cyose. That in nothing I shall be ashamed. Bivuga iki? What does this mean? Iyo yicaye. When he sits agatekereza ikintu and he conceives something akijamo he goes into it kuko afite gutekereza nyibyiringiro ko kizacama atazakorwa n'iso because he earnestly expects with hope that he will never be ashamed risks zangaje mazosa koze so all risks of engagement that he makes abazikoze iri rentable zizava mu kintu kizima he knows they will birth something real ntari limite nubwo so he's not limited by fear ntari limite nibihuha he's not limited by gossip ntari ibihuha rumors tari limite namakuru yincha mugongo abantu bamubwiye he's not limited by what people will discourage him saying we amaze gutegereza nyibyiringiro because he's waiting with hope azwo yize yiwa he knows whom he has faith azya tangiye murimo he knows he who started the work verse 6 aba filipi Philippians igice cyambere aravuga ngo nzi neza ndashidika he says i know without doubt iyatangije akazi muri mwe that he who began a good work in you shall complete it yabwirije aba filipi ubutumwa so he preached the philippians umunsi wa mbere paul yageze mu burayi the first day he went to europe urusengero rwa mbere rwa rugo aba filipi the first church he went to was of the philippians aba filipi wari umugi yari capitale ya makedonia and philippi was the capital city of macedonia ahavuga ubutumwa and he preached arahafungirwa he was in prison yari He was with Silas. Hanyuma vamo. Then he left the prison. Yakirwa no mugore witwa Lydia with Yatir. He was accepted by a lady called Lydia of Tyrana. Lydia is the one who took him. Yari umucuruzi kazi with Yatir. She was a business woman of Tyrana. Yari akomeye muri uwo muci. She was very strong in that. Yumva ibyo Paul avuga. Then she had what Paul was saying. She welcomed him in the house. Batangira serire de prière. They had a cell of prayer. Bamaze kuvuga ubutumwa. 
performed miracles. God performed miracles. And Paul, he was coming from minor Asia. He was sleeping in the night, wanting to go to preach at the place. Then in a dream, he had a man calling him, telling him, Paul, Paul, come to Macedonia and save him. And the Bible said, that night I knew God called me there. When he was writing to them, he said, I know well that he who started with him shall complete it. He who started with him shall complete it. Going to Macedonia, he didn't go by his power. He went by the voice of God. He knew the power of God. He knew the God his power. He knew the special power. He knew his power. So he said, I earnestly expect you all that I'll never be ashamed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When did he write this letter? When they had told him that people had problems, the Philippian church had problems. He was bound in Rome. He was in chains. As he was standing there, they told him that people came and started confusing them and started bringing things to the then he wrote to them that we belong to heaven. We belong to heaven. So we are waiting for him to come down. He will change our bodies through human and put them according to the nature. Then Paul wrote that I, Paul, the slave of Christ, I'm writing to you that God has found me for the Lord. That whether you are not for the Lord, that whether you are not for the Lord, that whether you are not for the Lord, Iyari vuze, iyo kwizerwa, no kubikora, bizabikora. Hallelujah! Hey! Arabwira ngo. He told them. I know well. Ndashidikanya rwose. I have no doubt. Ngo yatangiye mu murimo mu buzima bwa. He who started a good work in you. He who started with you in the process. Yatangiranye nawe iyo vision. Yatangiranye nawe ubwo buzima. He who started the work. Yatangiranye nawe ubwo ruko. He who started the work. Izabirangiza. 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 Hallelujah. The Philippians They were backsliding Because there was a lot of business in Philippians There was a lot of work so when the believers became rich they became proud they became strong they had no time for God they couldn't come to church they were saying we're busy in the vision we're working so they were focusing on the world the second chapter of Philippians Paul wrote saying have the heart that was in Christ Jesus have the heart Chapter 3, Paul said, We belong to heaven. We belong to heaven. We are here just like this. But we are here to influence this world. But we belong to heaven. And then, second chapter, he told them, We are here just like this. 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 We are the light that enlightens upon the children of evil so that they understand the light and be redeemed. Then the fourth chapter. He said, don't be moved by things. My God shall supply. Shall supply. My God shall supply. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the book of hope. The book of hope. When you have this God that Paul had, you're never ashamed. The second thing Paul said here, he said, I'm going to 
but with all boldness. You can't say the World Cup of 2030 will happen in Rwanda if you're not bold. Because people will laugh at you. Others will say it is the lie. Those are the names they give people who are bold. So if you want to keep one name, stay like that. So if you want to keep that name that your father and mother have been who are the people who have many names? The bold. Who say others, what others can't say. Who promise things that can't be promised. Elijah said it will never rain until I say so he controls the weather he controlled the climate it will rain when I say it should the man who had him said who is he to say such words there is a level you get to and you command the climate like you would command your child the man who had him said who is he to say such words he said it will rain when I say so it will never rain until I say so it will never rain until I say so you command the rain not to rain until you're where you're supposed to be. It obeys like your children obey. That's the word of boldness. Ahab thought it was a joke. He was saying it before who? Before the president of Israel. And he said, your majesty king, it will not rain. There will be no dew for three years and a half. Then I will speak again. Then it will rain. Boldness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Boldness. They waited when it was the wet season. It never rained. One year, two years. Then famine. Then Ahab went looking for him. It's because of him that rain came. Get him, kill him, or he should call the rain. Then the man was nowhere to be found. After three years, three and a half. He came back. He met a servant who worked in the palace called Obadiah. He said, go and tell the king that I have come back. He was spending three years and a half surviving from a widow's food. God hid him somewhere and in Israel it was known that the priest and the prophet couldn't go to the house of the widow in the laws of the priests a priest couldn't touch a widow who is not a widow of a priest so I'm speaking boldness. Obadiah said, I know you. If I go, you will fly. The spirit time. He said, I'm staying here. I'm not flying. Ahab came. He came saying, you brought fame into the land. He said, no, you brought fame. So I ask you, Wait for me. Go somewhere, I'm going to tell the rain to come back. Then he sent a servant. He said, tell him to take his chariot and go before it rains on him. It's like he had a remote control that controls the climate. Saying, rain come down, rain go back. Boldness. 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 
The king said there is no prayer in the land. It went through the cabinet. And Daniel was the prime minister. Both. All of them agreed when it was nine he took his break to go and pray when it was midday he went back to pray when it was three he went back to pray and those who wanted to report him they followed him in his break he entered his room and prayed he did as if there was no love when you have faith in a great God, life goes on. He didn't say, God, they, they have decreed. He got continued praying for his relatives to go back to Jerusalem. As the Bible says, his windows were focusing Jerusalem. They came to him and they said, we call you. You're praying. He said, I didn't pray hiding. Yes, I am praying. They took him to the king. The king said, Daniel, did you pray? He said, yes. There are others who would say, I was kneeling down picking something under the bed. Lying goes together with the lack of boldness. When you're not bold, you lie. But if you're bold, never. It's bad to lie. Then Daniel. They argued the whole night how they would throw him in the den. Then they threw him in the den. He didn't go before the king and say, your majesty, I'll never pray again, please. Is it written? So he went to the den as if he was going to a national park. The Bible doesn't tell us he even panically prayed asking God to protect him. He went as if he's going to visit lions. When he got in the den, he found them there. He slept with them. One of the commenters of the Bible said they were his blanket for the night. And they were hungry, they hadn't eaten for seven days. So for them to eat him with an appetite. But the lions didn't want to have an issue with the hopeful man. When you have hope. Everything wants to have no issue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The next morning. Because Darius couldn't sleep. Daniel served him well. And he tried to fight for him, but he couldn't. No one is beyond the law. They Lord. showed him that the law of the Medes and Persians were beyond him, even if he was the king. So he went to the mouth of the den the next morning and said, Daniel, servant of the Most High God, he didn't say my minister. There are names they call us because of the work we do and names they call us because of the dimensions we operate. He said, servant of the Most High God. The God you told me you serve, did he save you from the lions? He said, long live the king. I didn't sin against you. you. And I didn't sin against my God. He sent his angel. And he closed the mouths of the lions. Now I'm well. The king said, you are alive. He called the men who lied against him and their wives and their children. And he said, right now, take out Daniel. They took Daniel out and he said, put them down. They caused them right there. 
They threw all of them inside. If you're jealous of your friend and you fight them, one day you'll be thrown in the den of life. There are times times you say, I met them, quit their job, but the day you quit yours, it will be another day. There are times you say, Aho yaraye na uzaharara kandi hari difference wazaharara buce akomeze ariko uzaharara tuzahava Don't rejoice when your friend goes through trials because of you there is a day you will go through what they are going through and if it was Aba bosse muraha mutegeka nuzafe kwirukana umuntu uzabanza umuganiriza Boss is here. Don't fire people before you talk to them. And say, I will show you who I am today. I will show you that I'm great today. May God protect us from that. Daniel. Daniel. Daniel was bold. Hallelujah. 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 David. David. Goliath. Goliath. He was three meters. Six, nine, nine feet. He was, he, he was three meters. That is nine feet tall. Three meters tall. I am 145. One, 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 That's how tall I am. Imagine three more gitwazas. This is how he was tall. Daudi, David was a small child who was 17 years old. Do we have a young man of 17 years old? 17. We have no David in the church. All right, let me carry on. God give us a David. No child of 17 years. This is the man who went to fight Goliath. You see him? He got before Saul. Saul when Saul saw him, said, how much disgrace. Is it you? He looked at him. Where did you fight? You ridiculous. 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 David said, just give me a chance. I'm ready to fight. He said Goliath started fighting when he was young. You've never fought. You know the story. David went. David went. God bless you. And be strong as David. Amen. Amen. And when David saw Goliath, his eyes were different from other people. The others in the valley, in the valley of Ela, they saw Goliath. They saw Goliath. He said, I need a champion. I need a strong man to fight. The way they used to fight, they would bring two men from the different parties. Israel spent 40 days with no man to sacrifice himself. So David came bringing food, food for his brothers. When he got there, he saw Goliath coming. He asked the soldier who was there. He said, who is that man? He said, he's the one who has caused this lack of peace for 40 days. What happens if someone kills him? The king said he'll give his daughter. His daughter. Okay, I'll kill him. They'll give him the daughter and he will solve the problem. Just 17 years old. 
boldness. Paul says, I'll never be ashamed. And because of that, I'll be bold. Are you ready to be bold? And face problems. And face what is difficult. And face the power. Until the day you bring them Hallelujah! 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 Now the Jews, the way they could see, they were seeing Goliath, and Goliath was bigger than their God. And God became small, and Goliath became big. When you don't know your God, when you don't know his power, you enlarge your problem. How do we eat and feed dogs? How do we feed our problems? When we don't see God's power. When we don't see God's glory. When we don't see his greatness. We feed our problems. As if putting air in a balloon. When you getting your air from from your mouth to the balloon. We make the problem But when we bring the balloon down, we see how God is. So in the sky, when you put your hands down, you see his power and you see his greatness and you see his greatness. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The problem becomes thin and you become great because you have a great God. David. David. David saw how Goliath was big. Saw so the stone he had. And he said, This stone, even though I will miss, even though I'm not skilled in firing, stones, but because he's so big, I won't miss him. This is how he understood it. The size of Goliath helped him understand that however way he would throw the stone, he would still win. Another amazing thing. He threw the stone and it hit his head. And everywhere else he was covered. Even his, his hat to the neck. And his hands. And he had brass shoes. He had a spear. And his shield was one meter twenty. The only place not covered. The only, the only place uncovered was his face and his, his, his head. For him to see. So when he threw the stone, it went straight for his skull. When it entered, it pressed through to the skull. Goliath. Goliath said, I have met things in my life, but the thing that just entered my head, I don't know what it is. The man, he didn't fall backwards, he fell in front laying down before the power. Gravity. In the principles of gravity, energy, and force. Muri physic, in physics. When you hit someone at their head, they fall backwards. Because there is power of attraction that pulls you. Because they don't have equilibrium. When they are hit in the forehead, they fall backward. But this stone that hit him, he fell in front, saying that I have fought with but today I fought with God. I have fought with God. This is what will happen. When you're bold, you 
You hit them in the front. They will fall down so that it will be fulfilled that every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that the one you serve is the one you believe in is God. The one you have faith in is God. Have that hope. Have that hope. As I finish as I finish Paul says this. And because of this, so now it also Christ will be magnified in my body. <laughs> when will Christ be magnified? When will he be honored? When will be he glorified? The day we believe in his power, walk in his power and be bold. People who are bold in this world, God has taken them for greatness. Imagine having boldness with Jesus. With no fear, Christ will be magnified in your body. People will see and say it's not them that's God it's not them that is the power of God it's not them that is God's word that's God's honor why they will expectantly wait and Paul ends by saying I'll keep showing Christ I'll keep magnifying Christ whether by life or by death when you're bold and you're ready to receive something great and you get to the level where you don't doubt you have faith in God and in his power you have faith in his greatness you have faith in his miracles you have faith in the God who called you whether you live or you are dead, your works will speak for you. Your works will speak for you. Christ is glorified. Christ is glorified. Christ is glorified. This is what you should fight for. For Jesus to be magnified. Be bold, my sister. Be bold, my brother. Have faith in in his power. Serve in high dimensions. And when people see you, they will say, Christ is manifested in you. Christ is glorified in you. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. I want us to stand in this moment. Stand in this moment. This midday, this day. Ndagusaba ngo ni butarakira Yesu zamu rugogo kwawe ntutahe uze hani imbere tuze kugusengera ukizwe I am asking you if you haven't received Christ come forward don't go home Uze kuzana gasakoshi kawe Bibiliya yawe Uze uhagarara hani imbere Come here in front Tugusengere wakire Yesu We'll pray for you to receive Christ winjire mu mbaraga zo gushira amana So that you enter in the power Abandi reka tuzamura amaboko yacu dusenge Let's raise our hands and pray Sio mimi ni na yeishi bali Kristo ndani yangu Sio mimi ni na yeishi bali Kristo ndani yangu Sio mimi Nina Yeishi Bali Christo Dani Yangu Siyo Mimi Nina Yeishi Bali Christo Dani Yangu Siyo Mimi Siyo Mimi Nina Christo Dani Yangu Siyo Mimi Nina Yeishi Bali Christo
Kristo dan yangu Subira mvuga ngo mwami Yesu Lord Jesus I know without doubt what you started in me you will complete it what you started in me you will cause it to be completed I thank you Jesus that you are my God you are the God who hears me the God who answers me the glory is yours the lifting is yours thank you I have hope I will never be ashamed I have hope I will never be ashamed Because I have faith in you I have faith in you I will be bold I will never be afraid I will not speak 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 because yes, you go back. They chagagura. Is it a Jayaso? Because yes, you can suzugura. They chagagura. Is it a Jayaso? The Kirie Gushiramanga. The Kirie Gukamera. The Kirie Ibaraga. Shima is. The glory is with you. Day and forever. Amen. Amen. Mugire ichumwe ruchiz. Have a good week. Imani wa humujish. May the Lord bless you. Mutaha na mahoro yima. Go with the people. Tuzavana na kuwa kabiri. Monsi humujisha na kuwa kane. Monsi humutuz. We meet on blessing day and silence day.